what it do it's your boy ghost og man this is a quick and brief tutorial on item control in this tutorial i will go over how to time mega and heavy one at a time and both at the same time i've been getting a lot of requests from the quake community to help new players out i also will show you what to do when you have low health and armor how to get stacked back up while out of control let's get it to all the new players this is the heavy armor that gives you 100 armor. As you see, I picked it up at 10 seconds. It will respawn back at 40 seconds. Heavy responds every 30 seconds. You need this to survive and stay alive longer, guys, in case you run into intense fights. It will be one heavy armor on every map. So watch out for traps because this item will not be free for grabs without a fight later on in the arena. This is the Mega. I picked it up at 57 seconds. So it will respawn back at 27 seconds. Mega responds every 30 seconds and will boost your health up by 100. Do not forget that. It will only be one of these items in every map and you will have to fight for it in combat. Never try to pick up Mega unaware, listen for sounds, look for traps, or pay the price. Here I will show you how to time both Heavy and Mega at the same time. As you can see, I picked the heavy up at 50, so it'll respond back at 220. Here, I picked up the mega at 203, it'll respond back at 233. This can be quite difficult when you are in a heated fight because you can easily forget or mistime the items from distraction. As you see, I made it back to the heavy exactly at 220. If you forget, then do not panic. All you have to do is patrol the area where you got the item at first and repeat the process for the second. As you see, I made it back to the Mega at exactly 233. Last but not least, out of control with low health and armor. Make sure you get the health bubbles fast and always hunt for the 25 armor items. Do not try to get Mega and armor while out of control. It is very risky and 9 times out of 10 you will die unless you're confident enough to take the shot. Last tip. Stay off the jump pads while out of control. The longer you in the air, the more easier of a shot you are to a rail. Sometimes you will not be able to pick up both items against real good players, so do not get greedy. It can cost you a round. The smartest thing to do is a trade. A trade is when both opponents did not have enough time to go back and get the timed item, so they go back and get the opposite item without risking getting nothing at all. I hope this helps you out to all the new Quake Champion players. If you like this video and want me to do more like this, comment down below with topics. Be sure to subscribe if you learned anything and you already know who it is. It's your boy, Ghost OG, man. Let's get it.